Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to convert a gas furnace energy usage to a electrical heat pump HVAC energy usage. So here's the conversion here. So first thing you want to do is go in and get your utility bills and you want to find the amount of therms that you use for the winter time. But before you even do that, make sure you go to the summer part of your summertime bills and you want to take out your gas water heater if you have one. So I think in the US, most people do have gas water heaters. And so if you have that, you wanna make sure you back that load out of this calculation because it's obviously not relevant to a heat pump HVAC system or your gas furnace. So once you do that, add up all your bills in the winter time that you're using for gas for heating. And for us, that number came out to be 384. Next thing you want to do is figure out your furnace efficiency. So because our furnace was so old, it was 35 years old, and it was basically on its last legs dying, 60% uh, is a pretty conservative estimate. I think it's probably closer to 50%. And so what that means is basically for every therm of gas that gets pushed through the furnace, only 60% of it is actually creating heat. The, 40, the other 40% is just wasted because the, the furnace is so old and it's not efficient. So if you have maybe a 10-year-old or a five-year-old gas furnace, your efficiency is gonna be much better. So it's probably gonna be 90, 95%. So you need to figure out you know, which furnace you have and figure out that efficiency number so you can calculate how to do this. Once you do that, you wanna multiply these two together. So when you do that, we get 230 therms of actual energy that was used to create heat. Now what you wanna do after that is take your therm to kilowatt hour conversion. So if you Google this, one therm is equal to 29.3 kilowatt hours of energy. And once we've done that, then you just multiply these two together. That number is 6,700 here. So that's the amount of energy that you are using, kind of. And then what you wanna do after that is you wanna take the COP or coefficient of performance. And so this is gonna be based on the new heat pump HVAC system that you have. So for us, we have this Mitsubishi M-Series uh, three-ton heat pump, which is apparently supposed to be super efficient. So if we go down to the efficiency portion, you see the COP at 47 degrees is 3.4. So you take that number, divide these two, and you come up with about 2,100 kilowatt hours of energy use. So that's the conversion. So basically if we were to, you know, well, we have switched it out. So we do have this heat pump HVAC in our house now. So 384 therms at 60%, 230 is converted to about 2,100 kilowatt hours of energy we will use uh, for the same amount of heat. And so why this is important is say you have a solar system. So like we do have a solar system here. And so uh, when people are trying to convert from gas to electric because they have solar and they can, you know, kind of get quote unquote free energy, or you're going to budget this into a system you're going to build, you definitely want to have this number. And so for us, for gas heating, this is the number 2100 kilowatt hours. So you'd want to budget that into your system. And also keep in mind that this is only for winter heating. So you need to also budget in your summer cooling as well. And so that's Calculation is a lot more straightforward. That one is basically, you can pretty much almost take your AC condenser usage and just pile that straight into your uh, budget there. However, you do need to look at the heat pump you're looking into and see how efficient it is. So for this M-Series Mitsubishi that we have, it's about two kilowatt hours an hour that it uses energy, which is much more efficient than the same type of three ton AC condenser. So all you'd need to do in that case is just take the two kilowatt hours times how many hours you think you'll use the heat pump in the summer uh, for electric cooling. And you can add that number to 2,100 kilowatt hours and that'll be your total budget for the year for uh, heating and cooling. So just keep that in mind if you're you know looking into a solar system and you need to know how much you know central AC and heating you need. So that's the number. That's how you do that. So hopefully this calculation was helpful. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know in the description, in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.